going downstairs, um, seeing a rather large present by the tree that you weren't expecting. Um, and I think we actually had snow that year. So it was, a, it was a great Christmas indeed. Austin McNeil is a former Crown Ward. While in foster care, he received a brand new bicycle from the Bikes for Kids program 13 years ago. It's a great Christmas gift, um, something that you're not normally expecting. Um, you get a few gifts here and there kind of thing, especially when you have estranged family uh, or you're now with a new family. So getting something big like a bike that you aren't expecting is definitely a huge joy for someone to receive. A new bicycle is a joy for children of all ages, but for teens living in foster care, it can be a mode of transportation. I lived a decent distance from the high school, but not far enough to ride the bus. So having a bike is definitely very helpful. Um, and then being able to go to a co-op on a bike is also useful when your co-op is an hour and a half walk away from the high school. Um, so a bike being donated uh, when you didn't have enough money is very helpful indeed. Now Austin is the resident coordinator in the Bridging the Gap program and has volunteered with the Bikes for Kids program for the last two years. I feel I received a lot from the foundation. I was able to receive bursaries as well for going to college and I like to be able to give back to those that helped me. This year the program's providing 75 brand new bicycles to the Children's Aid Foundation for distribution across the region bringing the total to more than 1,500 bikes over the last 18 years. And it hasn't just been bicycles under the tree. Ball gloves, basketballs, um, scooters, badminton rackets, um, just a variety of, of sports activity um, gear. That's our goal. If they, if they might have got a bike last year, then they get some sporting gear this year. So it's kind of cool. Program founder Greg Pace shares what's driven him over the almost two decades of running Bikes for Kids. Christmas morning and know that there's, you know, 75 kids out there that got like the Christmas present um, and we had something to do with that. And it's not just me, it's the people who donate the money. And so I try to convey that to them is that they wake up Christmas morning and know that they've done something really terrific for somebody. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.